Hi, everybody. This is Mark with Teresa, Cynthia, and Shelley from the Center for Math and Teaching. For those of you who don't know us, we're a nonprofit math ed consulting group that worked together in the math department at UCLA for about 10 years, and we've run CMAT together for about another 10 years. Today, we want to share some ideas for making a plan to catch your students up in math due to lost instructional time during this pandemic. In the first few minutes, we aim to give you some ideas that can work at any grade level. Then we'll take another few minutes to get to some specific solutions using our MathLinks Essentials curricular materials. We hope that you stick with us for this short 12-minute session. We've all struggled with the fact that so many of our students are behind in mathematics. Here's the data for just middle school. So before COVID-19, more than 60% of our middle school students did not meet standards. Now, I'm sure we're even more behind and we have to figure out a way to catch our students up. Recently, we heard that California schools could open in some form as early as July. Whether that bears out, at some point in the near future, teaching and learning will have to resume for a new school year. We understand that many people in our profession are in survival mode. Whether your catch-up plan begins in the summer or fall, planning has to begin soon. And no matter the configuration of the school year, let's face it, we'll probably have less time to do this heavy lifting than we want. That's why we think it's imperative to concentrate first on the major work of each grade. Start this summer or fall so that students have a chance for success in fall of 2021. The Common Core State Standards for Mathematics identify certain topics as being the major work through grade eight. This information is easily found on the Common Core State Standards website. We show it here for grades five through eight as an example. Our plans involve focusing on work at the current grade level, plus the major work of the previous grade level as needed. This may require us to cut back on current work that is not considered major, which is terribly unfortunate, but it stands to reason that content added in one place probably requires content rem removed from another. Here we offer three plans to catch up. For plan one, if you can run a summer program, spend all of the time on major work of the previous grades where students may have gotten insufficient instruction. This will provide catch up opportunities before the new school year begins. Plan two involves the same content as plan one, just concentrated differently. So if you're starting in the fall instead, integrate that same major work from plan one into the school year, probably by supplementing your existing curriculum. We'll explain this more later. For plan three, if you have curriculum that already embeds major work from the previous grade into the current grade, that's great. Be prepared to emphasize that previous grade level work more than you would in a typical year though. If you're unhappy with your current curricular materials altogether, other options exist out there. We're assuming that the approaches for the first two plans will probably be the most common. So let's focus more on those. The summer plan for incoming sixth grade catch up concentrates on the major work from fifth grade. And then the example for the start in fall catch up plan is adding that same fifth grade major work into the sixth grade year. And because we think integrating topics makes more sense, for example, do the fifth grade fraction operations leading up to the sixth grade fraction division. Here's the seventh grade integrated plan. And as an example, work on ratio and proportional relationships at the sixth grade level, leading up to the related topics at the seventh grade level. And then here's the eighth grade plan. And as an example, solve seventh grade two-step equations leading up to eighth grade multi-step equations. The goal is doing whatever is needed starting this summer or fall to get students ready to start in the fall of 2021. Now, let's look at some details moving from a general plan 
to specifics that include our materials, MathLinks Essentials. This program is already shown to be quite successful in summer programs, intervention classes, and as supplemental materials in both regular ed and special ed classes in grades six through nine. So MathLinks Essentials isn't intended to be comprehensive. It was created for the purpose of catching students up in major work. You'll also see that there are both face-to-face -face and distance learning possibilities. The program has authentic technology options, but isn't technology driven, so it doesn't expand the digital divide. MathLinks Essentials consists of six modules. Each module has three consumable student packets, which each take about 10 typical class periods. As you'll see, student um, packets from uh, modules can flexibly be, flexibly be combined to create the plan your students need to catch up. So let's go back to the plan for incoming sixth graders. These topics are addressed in only four student packets from these two modules. And for the incoming seventh grade plan, only four student packets from these three modules. For incoming eighth graders, these topics are found in only four student packets from these three modules. And finally, a ninth grade plan is done in only four student packets from these two modules. For assessment purposes, we recommend that you make decisions that best suit your students and use any measures you trust. For your convenience, we created this checklist for each grade level. The seventh grade checklist is pictured here. You'll find the appropriate sixth grade level packets with short descriptions of the content and standards addressed. The bullet points describe the concepts and skills your students need and are linked to specific problems on our short pre-assessment. You'll notice as we continue, our materials are not about skills only, but also teach and assess concept development and applications, which are crucial to every good mathematics program. This grade seven checklist and pre-assessment are up on our website right now, and the ones for grades six, eight, and nine will be up in the next day or so. Now, let's take a look at MathLinks Essentials materials, specifically a student packet. It's a consumable that's best done face-to-face, -face, but suitable for remote teaching and learning too. We know that students do great when writing directly in the packet, but packets can be downloaded onto a device as well. Here's the front page of one packet from our expressions and equations module that includes a table of contents. Every packet begins with an opening problem as a hook, and every lesson begins with goals and a getting started set of problems to get the lesson moving. On the ensuing slides, you'll continue to see that the pages are structured, inviting, and non-threatening to students. Some pages have very little instruction on them and are intended to be teacher guided. Slide decks found in our teacher portal and lesson notes in the teacher edition accompany these pages for teachers to use as they choose. Ideally, this takes place in the classroom, but this option makes a remotely delivered lesson more dynamic. These pages are all about concept development, which is so important to student understanding. A page like this allows for exploration with partners or alone. And of course, plenty of practice is included too. If the teacher is not present for this exploration and practice, know that at the back of each packet, there's a student resource section with examples. Vocabulary is a critical aspect of learning mathematics. Near the front of each packet is a word bank where students can write descriptions and examples for key terms as they come up. The student resource section also has definitions and there's always a vocabulary review activity. 
The review section always has about three activities to address the main ideas in the packet. These review activities are best done with partners, but many can be done individually, including this puzzle and this equation solving challenge. And note that all student pages throughout the entire packet have answer keys loaded, located in the teacher edition. All of the teacher and student materials can be accessed on our secure teacher portal. Some of the components in the portal that we haven't addressed are extra problems, assessments, meaningful technology activities, and parent support letters. Finally, let's quickly address plan three, for which we offer two options for when you don't have a program for next year or don't like the program you currently have. Option 3A is for students that are very far behind and need to go at a slower pace. So you can use up to eight MathLinks Essentials packets to create a course. Here's a plan for sixth, seventh, and eighth grades. This option might work especially well in some special education environments too. Supplementing this plan is optional. Here's option 3B for a wider audience. Use one of our core courses for grades six through eight. They're complete and comprehensive courses that address all standards, and they embed major work from previous grades into the current grade level. Consider committing to any of these courses for as little as one school year. Remember that you can always check out our website for more information. You can also email any of us directly and you can also scan the code that you see right here and fill in a Google form to start the conversation. So thanks so much for taking the time to be with us. That's it.